Hi, I'm Jack Brooker from Brooker Motors. I'm the master tow, tow dolly distributor here in Mannheim, Pennsylvania. Uh, what I'd like to do today is show you how I load uh, a tow dolly. And right here is one of our products. It's a, a new master tow, tow dolly. And the first thing you want to do is, uh, of course, you want to you have it, you want to hook up uh, to your ball. It takes a two inch ball and uh, to get your, your correct ride height, you want the top of the ball roughly uh, 14 inches off the ground. That'll make your and make your ramps level. And you want it, you want the ramps as level as possible. So you got it hooked up. Okay, your next step is uh, you want to pull your release pin, and this is the red handle pin here. Just pull that out. Everything blue on the dolly tilts back. load your car and the key to loading the car is uh, just go nice and steady nice and steady mo motion up and on and then uh, be ready with on your brakes because as soon as your your uh, your tires go in the uh, the swivel pan here uh, the tow the, the tow dolly is going to return to its resting position and your tires will go up against the, the bump stop in the front Put your brake on, turn your car off, uh, and you want you want to lock your steering column. So your steering column has to be locked. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. I'm going to load the car. Okay, your next step is putting the release pin back in. You don't want to forget this. Okay. The next step is uh, you want to strap your wheels down. And uh, all dollies come with wheel straps are included with the dollies. And these are, uh, you get two different straps. There's a right and a left, and they're marked R and L. So this would be the right side, which would be the passenger side. So um, you want to take your, your hook end, that's your hook end, and that goes in these uh, little hooks right here, the little slots there. So you just take this like this, the hook facing down, put it right like that. Now they want you to put it, try and get it in the, there's three of them here. You've got an outer, a middle, and an inner. So you want to get it the one that makes it closest to the middle of the tread of the tire. And then you just throw it up over the top of the tire. And you want to make sure that there's a, there's a red stripe here. You see that red stripe? That has to face out, so that's going to be facing out. So you just throw it over the top. And make sure it's not twisted. You want to keep it flat all the way around. And uh, let me show you something down here. Uh, this this is an adjustable strap. You've got three adjustments for diameter uh, tire diameter. For my particular application, I put mine on the the middle adjustment. Uh, for a medium-sized tire. There's an adjustment for a, a large tire and for a small tire here. So you, if you want to change it, you just fish the, the strap out and just feed it through here or here for a different size tire. Now this, this piece here is the center section of your strap that goes across the top of your tire. So this actually has an adjustment too. Uh, Right now I have mine on the center adjustment, but you can also for, uh, this is for the tire width, different width tires. This is for the largest uh, size, and this would of course be for the smallest size. So once you get, if you're towing just one car, once you get the, the straps set up, 
you never have to really mess with them as far as adjusting them, They'll, you know, but initially you, you have to size your straps for your tire and that's how you do it. Okay, the second, I'm going to show you how to tie the, uh, the strap. Okay, this is, how, this is basically how you tie it. This is what's called a, a ring strap. They call it a ring strap because this is your ring. Uh, what you want to do is you take your, your ring strap, it should be coming around the back like this, and you go from the Go from the outside in just like that and you pull it pull it through and until you get it where you want it and then you you go around the back of it and back down and you're gonna here take a close look at that that's how that's what your your knots gonna look like just like that and then you just take this you slide it around to the front of your tire. And you can, if you find that you've made it too big or too small, you just take up a little of the slack and just play with it a little bit like that. So you get it right the way you want it. And you put it over the tire. And then you want to slide it to the middle of the tread of the tire. So you have something that looks like this. And then uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, you take your ratchet. Now this ratchet slides on a rail. So it, uh, you can position it anywhere you want. You want to position it in the center of the tire again. Okay. And then uh, what I do is lower. Um, take your strap end that you've just tied and stick it through just like that. And then what, I, what I'll do is uh, I hold the strap, keep tension on it. You want to you keep tension on your strap because you don't want this, this strap loose on the tire because if it's loose on the tire you're gonna to have too much slack, and you, you'll get too. You won't have enough room to to uh, to tighten it here. So get it get it the way you want it adjusted, and then keep tension on it with your other with your other hand, and then with uh, with your with your right hand, uh, you want to operate the ratchet. So you just just crank it. As simple as that. And then your last crank, you lock it like that, and then. Uh, you might have a little, depending on what size tire you got and how you have it adjusted, you may have a little extra. Uh, you can tuck it up under here or you can or you can put it through here and just keep it off the ground and keep it out, out of the way. But uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, and you want to you wanna make sure you keep these straps tight. Uh, so check them periodically and um, that's about it. Um, so that's good. All right. Well.